2013 Ford Escape, and probably for some years before and after, is smarter than you are when it comes to your headlights. And if you want to put an LED in the low beam, it's going to sense that there's not much power coming, or being drawn, and shut off the bulb. So, we have put in a relay here. Side up. It's just an accessory relay. The uh, 85 is grounded, so that's the black wire there. 86 and 87 are jumpered to each other because that's the other side of the switch so 30 gets power from the marker light that's the that's the red wire that taps onto the hot lead of the marker light which doesn't have that sort of oh my gosh you're not drawing enough current or anything nonsense. It doesn't, it doesn't give you a warning on the dash when that bulb is out. It only cares about uh, the low beams and possibly high beams. So when 30 gets power, uh, right? 30 gets power, nothing happens. But when the headlight goes on briefly at 87, being jumpered to 86, right? 86, yeah. Being jumpered to 86, that energizes the coil of the relay, closes that switch, and so now eighty seven right can continue to allow power to the relay so it latches on so I can turn on the headlights and the computer tries to shut it back off but this is latched and if I want to shut off the headlights, I have to just shut them off all the way so the marker light goes off. And that kills the power to the relay. The relay opens. And that's that. So now I can use LED headlights. Cost about 10 bucks. Well, 10 bucks per light. No, 10 bucks per light for the relay. The lights themselves cost more, but 10 bucks to fix it on each side.